Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In this lecture, we are going to see how to write down a unique representative for each similarity class of matrix in a field. But to begin with, let's look at the building blocks for KT modules. So if you have a torsion KT module, then it looks like um, M is equal to KT mod PT. where Pt is some monic polynomial of degree, some given degree d. So let's say Pt is t to the d plus a1 t to the d minus 1 plus up to a d. So these are the building blocks of torsion kt modules, which are the kind of modules that you get when you look at uh, modules, kt modules corresponding to matrices. So these would be the building blocks and uh, <clears throat> let's try to see what matrix this represents so for that just take any basis of m so m let's choose a convenient basis um we'll just take the basis one t t squared t to the power d minus one so we can think of each of these as elements of kt and therefore also elements of kt mod pt t to the d is linearly dependent on these vectors t to the d is equal to minus a1 t to the d minus 1 minus a2 t to the d minus 2 minus all the way down to ad that's because pt is 0 in m and so now multiplication t acts on m by multiplication and if we try to write down the matrix of this multiplication action of t on m then what we need to do is figure out what does t do to each of these basis vectors so t takes this first basis vector 1 to the basis vector t and it takes the basis vector t to the second basis vector t squared uh, or rather third basis vector t squared and so on all the way up to t to the minus d where uh, t to the d minus 1 and then takes t to the d minus 1 to t to the d which is no longer in our basis however it is given by a linear combination of our basis vectors as follows minus a1 t to the d minus 1 minus a2 t to the power d minus 2 all the way down to minus a d so the matrix multiplication The matrix of this action of T is given by 0, 1, 0, 0. This is just saying that the first basis vector goes to the second basis vector. Saying that the second basis vector goes to the third basis vector is this and so on. And the D minus second basis vector or rather the D minus yeah, first basis vector which is T to the D minus 2 goes to the D minus Dth basis vector which is uh, t to the power d minus 1 and then t to the power d minus 1 goes to this vector which I can write as minus a d minus a d minus 1 all the way down to minus a 1 okay so what we have seen is that in the module kt mod pt there is a basis with respect to which um, multiplication by t is this is the same as multiplication by this matrix this matrix by the way is called the companion matrix of t so cpt is defined to be this matrix so it's just the matrix where you have this um, block so you have this 
block which looks like the identity and then you have over here this column which has all the coefficients of the monic polynomial pt going from uh, the units coefficient on top to the degree d minus 1 coefficient at the bottom all with their sign reversed so this is called the companion matrix of And the conclusion is that kt mod pt is isomorphic to m of cpt. Now, suppose we have two modules. We have a module m, which comes from a matrix A. And we have a module n, which comes from matrix B. For some, uh, say uh, this is an M by M matrix and this is an N by N matrix. M, N, K, B belongs to M, N, K. Then I claim that M direct sum N comes from the matrix with block diagonal matrix with block diagonal entries a and B. Um, how do we see this? Well, uh, the fact that M is isomorphic to M subscript A means that M admits a K basis with respect to which uh, the action of T is multiplication by A. So, so let X1 up to Xm be a basis of M such that T acts as multiplication by A with respect to this basis and Y1, Yn be a basis of N such that T acts as multiplication by B. Then you can combine these bases to get a basis of m plus n. So m plus n, m direct sum n has basis x1, xm, y1, yn. And with respect to this basis, t acts as multiplication by k0, 0, 0, t. And so, m direct sum n is isomorphic to m a 0 0 p. So to summarize we've seen that kt or pt is isomorphic to m of cp where cp is the companion matrix of p and we've seen that if m is isomorphic to MA and so we can write it like this MA direct sum MB is isomorphic to M of A0 0, 0 the block that we can put this together to uh, write down a form for any uh, matrix now so we know that given any matrix A belonging to um, M and K, we can write M A isomorphic to K T mod P1 T plus K T mod P2 T and so on, where P1 T, P2 T up to PR T are all bonic polynomials in K T and p1 t divides p2 t divides pr t monic because these polynomials can be chosen up to units so you can always make the leading coefficient equal to one and so what we get is that ma is 
isomorphic to m c p one t direct sum m c p two t m c p r t which is in turn isomorphic to by this argument up here about direct sums m and now you take the block diagonal matrix whose diagonal blocks are cp1 t cp2 t cpr t moreover these matrices cp1 t cp2 t cpr t uh, well the the polynomials p1 t p2 t pr t are unique so this form uh, is, is also going to be uniquely determined by the matrix A. So what we have proved is uh, the existence and uniqueness of a rational canonical form theorem. Every matrix K in M and K, so here we are assuming that K is any field is similar to a unique matrix of the form CP1T, CP2T, CPRT, where P1, P2, PR harmonic polynomials and p1 divides p2 divides p3 and so on. Okay, let's look at an example. So let's take the matrix Zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And now the question is, can I figure out uh, how to write this matrix in rational canonical form? So what we need to do is we need to take the module M subscript A and figure out its structure. So for that, firstly, we write down Ti minus A and that turns out to be T plus one, minus one, minus one, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0. And its Smith form is, um, let's see, so the GCD of all the entries here is just 1. Um, the, um, so the 2 by 2 minors, well, most of them are 0, uh, but uh, let's see. Oops, uh, I made a mistake here. There's supposed to be T's here. T, I, minus A. So most of them are zero, but here's a minor which is T into T plus one. Well, not most of them are zero. Some of them are zero, but here's T into T plus one. Uh, here's uh, T squared uh, minus one. Here, this minor is uh, one plus T. So what you'll see if you compute all these minors is there are nine of them and they're all, their GCD is um, T plus one. And uh, the determinant of this whole matrix is, if you compute it, turns out to be T minus one into T plus one whole square. Third thing in the um, Smith canonical form is this divided by t plus 1, which is just t squared minus 1. So the Smith normal form of ti minus a is this, which means that ma is isomorphic to kt mod t plus 1 direct sum kt mod t squared minus 1. 
and so A is similar to the companion matrix of T plus 1, the companion matrix of T squared minus 1, which is uh, the companion matrix of T plus 1 is just minus 1, and the companion matrix of T squared minus 1 is 0, 1, 1. So this is the rational canonical form of the matrix A that we have taken.